Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. Doomsday Eco Lodge, where I am sad to report this is my last day. Last day, Tuesday, March 10th, 2015. But like any other Tuesday, I'm going to bring you, as I do every Tuesday, my wacky conspiracy roundup rant where I go and look around for the wacky conspiracies this week and I'm gonna go revisit where I was laughing about last week uh, at coast to coast talking about this horse shit last week about uh, this David Wilcock guy claiming among other things that our solar system is being invaded by hundreds, hundreds of spaceships, alien spaceships, the size of the planet Neptune. Hundreds of manufactured objects the size of the planet Neptune, and I say, how many hundreds of times bigger is the planet Neptune? Anyway, before I get to this week's comments on, on Coast to Coast, I want to visit my mailbag from uh, I, the, the comments to my video on that one about that whack job, David Wilcock. Well, I guess I ruff, ruffled some feathers of this clueless moron troll named David C Dave C. Okay, Dave. Dave, uh, he had a lot to tell me about uh, what, what a goddamn idiot I am for thinking that there's not a bunch of Neptune-sized spaceships floating around the solar system. Take it away, Dave. And, 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 I, and I have to say, Dave, coming from you, buddy, uh, coming from you, uh, th there is no truer point than this, his first point. There is nothing more disturbing about humans than their belief systems. Believing only what some authority says is true. And the authority, obviously, that uh, Dave C. chooses to believe are whack jobs like David Wilcock. There's an authority. Nothing more disturbing about humans and their belief systems. Yes, Dave. Hallelujah. Amen, brother. This guy speaking here, that would be this guy speaking here, is one of those people. Just like a religious fanatic believing only in a system created long ago because their mama believed it, her mama believed it, and on and on. I, I, I do wish I uh, could interview my late mama. She, I, I, I can hear my mother howling with laughter over that comment. And my, my mama was a bit of a conspiracy wacko herself. She was a conspiracy wacko back before Alex, when Alex Jones was wiping poop out of his diaper. Okay. This keeps their minds nice and locked down with threats of eternal damnation. That's me. My mind is locked down because of the threats of eternal damnation. Fear of the unknown is a very powerful weapon, and the control system has used it to perfection up until now. Uh, hallelujah. Amen, Brother Dave. Uh, no argument there. People are awakening to the fact 
we have been lied to all along. Y yes, I, I would say that one of the main driving forces of Humpty Dumpty Tribe, these 2,000 videos that, that, I have, that I have done here, is exposing the fact that we have been lied to all along. To me, it cannot be more obvious we are kept out of the loop, all done to keep us dumbed down and therefore very controllable and a very usable human resource. I'm with you, Brother Dave. And anybody uh, talking about being dumbed down, well, anybody who believing that the solar system is being invaded by hundreds of Neptune-sized spacecraft, they know what they're talking about when they're talking about ignorant morons being dumbed down. Going back to me, this close-minded know-it-all, that would be me. I am your close-minded know-it-all, probably still thinks some geeks invented something as advanced as the PC in their daddy's garage because that is what the media told us all to believe. It is all bullshit. It was a cover story. It all is. And you only know what you choose to believe because there is a wealth of information out there right now. What he's referring to here, I believe, is this book by uh, this uh, Air Force or Captain Philip Corso called The Day After Roswell. I need to do a rant on this book, The Day After Roswell, back when I was way deep into this alien abduction bullshit when it was the center of my life. For those of you who don't know me, you know, I am an alien abductee, or at least I was for years. I've got several rants about this. You might want to look up how I kicked a space alien's ass for that story. But anyway, that was one of the books uh, that, that does ask some questions. Philip Corso claiming that the Internet and a whole bunch of other shit were brought to us whether accidentally or not, in, uh, in the 1940s, brought to us by space aliens. Anyway, moving on. Here is some proof we are not allowed to go outside the box. I say, open your mind or just shut your face. You are going to be eating those negative words someday very soon. So anyway, I clicked on the proof. This is David, Dave C's proof that we are not allowed to go outside the box. Okay, let's go over to this proof. It is a YouTube video with 191,000 hits, including 772 thumbs up, 68 thumbs down, titled Nazi Secrets of Antarctica. Nazi Secrets of Antarctica. I'm going to read the first sentence from uh, proof that we're being lied to. Quote, Thousands of people across the globe, obviously including this moron, Dave C., thousands of people across the globe believe the Earth is a hollow sphere inhabited by an alien civilization. There you go. That is Dave C.'s authority! Authority! Uh, okay, don't be
be scared. There is absolutely life on other planets and even right here, meaning on this planet, right here, right now, whether you choose, whether you choose to believe it or not, the evidence is everywhere. It, it, yeah, so the evidence is everywhere. Uh, this guy Dave C is evidence of a space alien living here on this planet. <clears throat> Anyone ever tell you that you sound like the preacher from the Simpsons that huffed in a bunch of helium? I can imagine what Dave C would think of my buddy Terrence McKenna. Go here if you have the guts to. It is not easy listening. So he leaves me with this. And what this is is a video, a 55 minute video called The Cult of Saturn. The Cult of Saturn. And this is an interview. And I'm embarrassed to say by Red Ice Radio. Red Ice Radio actually has some pretty intelligent interviews. And they have decided to sully their reputation by interviewing Jay Widener. Jay Widener exposing the Saturnian cult. Jay Widener, he and uh, David Wilcock and Daniel Pinchbeck. Are, are, are the trace amigos of the whack job set. Jay Widener talking about this Saturn cult. And uh, I'm not uh, denying that, that there's a cult of Saturn. Uh, you know, I've heard about this shit. I, I think there's been this cult uh, for about a thousand years on this planet, which, which is nothing to me. Uh, other than the evidence that these goddamn clueless moron whack jobs like this like this chicken shit troll Dave C uh, you know this shit goes way back the dumbing down uh, of the global IQ and, and of course uh, I love it this Dave C guy like so many of these chicken shit trolls they, they fix it so you cannot reply to their to their comments but anyway before any of you think that you're all your old conspiracy wacko uh, is, is just uh, talking trash about coast zone about coast to coast am.com well guess what they were talking about this week they brought on author and conspiracy researcher Donald Jeffries. I've heard the name before. I don't really, I haven't uh, really followed this man's work. So here we are this week. Last week it was David Wilcock talking about uh, spaceships the size of Neptune. This week Donald Jeffries discussed topics, such topics as the JFK assassination, the death of JFK Jr., 9-11, and Bohemian Grove. This is according to Jeffrey, that certainly the organized corruption began before the Kennedy assassination, but since November 22, 1963, this is quoting Donald Jeffries, quote, you can see how things have grown progressively worse. Corruption has been ratcheted up to the point where we can be attacking American citizens with drones and bragging about it, close quote. Uh, uh, hallelujah, Brother Donald. This is exactly what has going, been going on since November 22nd, 1963, although you better believe this shit was going on uh, back when the cult of Saturn was being hatched a thousand years ago. Then of course talking about the uh, mad, the, this horse shit magic bullet theory. It, I guess it's, 
A a anybody who thinks the magic bullet killed JFK. <coughs> but I'm not going to get into this. Okay. We saw the same kind of, quote, calling card during 9-11 when one of the alleged hijacker's passports was found on a pile of rubble when everything else around it was obliterated. Uh, I'm on the fence about that one. Post 9-11, we have been in an endless war with an enemy that is unidentifiable and citizens' rights have been whittled away by the Patriot Act, Homeland Security, and the NDAA, he continued. That is, that is exactly right. Hallelujah, Brother Donald Jeffries, summing up life on Earth since 9-11. And they close in here by looking at the death of John Kennedy Jr. Remember, he died in that suspicious plane wreck a few years ago. Uh, I don't know. Guys, I'm a dumb uh, conspiracy wacko sitting in a chair. Uh, Jeffries believes JFK Jr. was taken out because of his interest in politics and possibly being a future presidential candidate. Now, again, uh, I am on the, the fence about that, but I certainly do not reject that. They might as well kill him now uh, before he ever gets any closer to the White House. It, I, I'm not at all going to reject that wacky conspiracy theory that JFK Jr. Uh, was taken out in, in that airplane wreck. So, uh, but a, I'm assuming that Dave C. agrees with Donald Jeffries and Hambone Littletail about what I just read here from this Coast to Coast show. But uh, I'm sorry, Dave. I have a little bit of discernment and critical thinking abilities where I can understand that everything that Donald Jeffrey says here, if not 100% true, is completely sensible and cannot be eliminated as being true, that I can understand that, yet I can reject everything that that goddamn whack job David Wilcock talking about spaceships the size of Neptune. But anyway, guys, uh, even though it's Tuesday, I'm going to come back at you with my climate change meltdown roundup rant, which I normally do on Wednesday. But since I'm going to be traveling and busy tomorrow, I want to get one more climate change meltdown roundup rant. I guarantee you this is one rant that Dave C. will have no interest in hearing. Because I'm going to take a wild guess that Dave C. is a climate change denier. But I am just guessing. Anyway, Dave, send me another comment. And if you aren't such a goddamn little chicken shit, maybe you want to fix your settings where I can reply to it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this rant and come back at you with my climate change meltdown roundup rant in one minute. Bye, guys.